Today I'm frying uh, northern pike in uh, canola oil and also frying uh, larger pieces of pike fillet on the skillet using butter and olive oil. Um, I hope this recipe comes out well. Uh, enjoy. I have um, fillet that I've cut up into smaller nuggets and uh, bigger pieces that I'm going to use. This is how the full fillet looks like uh, off of one side of the pike. As you can see it was a meaty fish. Lots of uh, meat there. I'm going to show you a simple recipe of how to fry the fish um, without needing too many ingredients or you know fancy cookware. Um, the spices I'm going to use are very simple. You know, some pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and the uh, fish fry mix bought, that I bought from the store. Um, so the first step to our fish fry is um, putting spices on the fillets and dipping them into the um, breading. Uh, I'm going to get the oil started as you can see my oil level is not too high I don't want the oil to overboil um, I'm going to get the oil to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit and a good way to check it is you know you take a small bit of whatever you're cooking and you throw it in if it's bubbling in the oil then it's good temperature here we go <clears throat> I've just finished uh, breading the chunks of fillet that I have ready and the oil has heated up And I'm going to put in a couple of small pieces and let them fry for approximately three minutes a piece. As you can see the oil is almost hot enough. These first pieces might need to be there for four minutes. But beyond four minutes, it's too long. Um, and, and that's that. I don't put too many pieces in at once to make sure that the temperature stays hot. Keeping that flame at about medium is great. Um, if, the bo if the oil is boiling too violently, obviously turn it down. And be careful. This is hot, hot, hot. And here we are at the three minute mark. Let's take a look how our chunks of pipe look like. They're looking great. I can't wait to taste them. Gotta wait until they cool down. I'm gonna throw in some more chunks in there. Yeah, so just got to be careful lowering them in. Oil is very hot. And I just give it exactly three minutes. And it comes out tender and flaky. And absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness. This is some really good fish. <laughs>
Oh god. I better come to my fish fry. I'll be right back. And it is time to check on the next batch of pike um, fillet fry. These pieces are coming out just right. They're crispy, they're flaky, and they're super delicious. Now, in case you have a big chunk, um, you want to put it in for um, four minutes, maybe even five minutes. See how thick this piece is compared to the others. They're real skinny. But that's a fillet piece. Uh, so I'm going to put this one in for four and a half minutes alone in the pot. Should be just great. I like frying fish because it just brings out the flavor. Um, you know. You, you can't beat this nice, flaky, crispy, mm, delicious fish. And I mean, this is the freshest fish I can afford. <laughs> For real. Here we go. The big piece was fried successfully break it open Woo! that's hot oh yeah as you can see there's some bone in there but there is nothing I could have done about it because that's just the way pike is you gotta um, take care while eating it to not um, like eat the bones but you know other than that it's like really delicious <clears throat> let me throw the rest of these small chunks in right now I don't have anybody to hold the camera for me so this is a one-man show but that's fine And I always uh, keep a wristwatch on when I do cooking to keep an eye on, on how on what time it is, how long I've been cooking something. And uh, this is definitely one of those jobs where <laughs> you cannot walk off. You need to stay by the grease because there's fire. You, 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 you can have a big fire on your hands at any moment. You know, you got to tend to it like it's a baby or something but it's all good it's all great food can't wait to share it with my friends and family okay and here we are at the next segment I've breaded my last pieces of the fillets uh, there were two large fillets this is the second one. The first one I've already fried up. It came out beautiful. Yeah, all good. Um, and now I'm going to take some butter, olive oil, and make these babies cook. But before I do that, I got to change my battery. <laughs> Anyways, these recipes and methods, anyone can do it. Ain't nothing special about this. <laughs> you can do it too. Here we go. Now the pan is hot and there's butter, half a stick of butter, and about two tablespoons of olive oil. Yep, it's getting to that point where it's going nuts. I gotta put in the first fillet. Here we go. 
I'm gonna heat it on about medium heat for about four minutes per side. Just letting it slowly cook. Nothing, nothing too hot. I'm gonna flip it in about four minutes. Okay, here we go. The first piece is done. And it's nice and soft and flaky. Um, and I only need it to cook three minutes per side. Very simple, very easy. Half a stick of butter, uh, two tablespoons of olive oil, and you're good to go. Keep it on medium and never walk away from the frying. <laughs> and there you go. This is the end of my cooking segment. Take a look at what I got. I took pike fillets and I made them into fish tacos. I put onions, cilantro, and um, tomato. I used these spices, black pepper, the fish fry seafood breading mix that I bought at a local grocery store, onion powder, garlic powder, butter, olive oil. And of course, a Milagro corn tortillas. It's the best local stuff you can buy. Cilantro, of course, local grocery store. And I caught the pike. Here's the uh, pan fried fillets. I caught the pike at uh, Wolf River in Wisconsin. 